Hey guys, and uh, welcome to part two of the uh, 100 cigarette challenge. I'm gonna start calling cigarettes darts again because that's how I was raised. Um, currently, we are not smoking because I need to eat. Where did I put my fork? Gee, Willikers, I'm losing everything. She's not playing anymore, so I'm gonna put them back in my own. Alright. I lost my fork. Just I know. It's like the spaghetti ate it. I gotta go get another fork to find the one I had. Oh, it went to. I gotta go get another fork. Back on the stairs, I don't lose it. Oof. Oof. Oops. Mm. Oh, found it. I found it at least. I'm gonna put this in. Mm. There we go. Makes it easier for me to get in and out. Okay. So we're having spaghetti with um, two garlic breads and cheese. Bone apple feet. How's it look? What, bon appetit? Yeah, why did you say that? Because bon appetit means... I know what it means, but like... Morning. What? Can you mm -hmm. hand me the water jug, please? Uh, All right. The water jug. Why the water jug? Oh. Alright. Yeah, 
ありがとうございました。Thank you very much.、Uh, why are you recording yourself eat? <laughs> I'm YouTubing the second part of the challenge, but currently, yes, I'm eating. You know, as smokers, we usually smoke right after we eat, so. Not everyone does, though. Some people do it before. Is that really from Assassin's Creed? That song? Yeah, apparently. No, it sounds like a song that has to be in it. What's the name of it? My Mother Hold Me. Alright. Okay, now I have to get that game. There's a game. No, but the title is for the、um, Assassin's Creed Viking era. Yeah, but that song's not in it. I know, but I have to try the game now. Stand up on the pro. Noble Bork, I steer. Steady course to the haven. Humanity, fullman, humanity, fullman. My mother told me someday I will buy galley with good doors. Sail to distant shores. Stand up on the prow. Noble bark I steer. Steady course to the haven. Humanity, fullman, humanity, fullman. My mother told me someday I will buy buy galley with good doors. Sail to distant shores. Yeah, it's been out for two months now. It's called Assassin's Creed Valhalla. It's been out for two months. I just pulled a Viking era. My mother told me someday I will buy galley with good doors. Sail to distant shores. Stand up. Okay, now I'm just listening to the Viking music because it sounds good.
You know about how it is, right? Like what the Vikings considered heaven. It flames. 
So I'm putting it on this now. So this is the guy from my six. There once was a ship that put to sea. The name of the ship was a belly of tea. The winds blew up her by the This is also comes off of TikTok, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Soon day the Bellaman come to bring the sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tongue is done, we'll take a leave and go. She'd not been two weeks from shore when down on her a right whale bore. The captain called all hands and swore he'd take the whale in tow. Soon may the Wellerman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tongue is done, we'll take a leave and go. Da 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 Before the boat had hit the water, the whale sail came up and caught her hands to the side, harping and fought her when she dived down low. Soon may the Wellerman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tongue is done, we'll take our leave and go. Cut. No will was freed, the captain's mind was not of greed, and he belonged to the Wilman's creed. She took that ship in tow. <gasps> Soon may the Wellerman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tongue is done, we'll take our leave and go. Da 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 for forty days or even more, the lane went slack and take once more. All boats were lost, there were only four, but still it willed it go. <gasps> Soon may the Wellerman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tongue is done, we'll take a leave and go. As far as I've heard, the fight's still on. The lane's not cut and the whale's not gone. The Willowman makes his regular call to encourage the captain crew and all. Oh, soon may the Willowman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tongue is done. Everybody knows those Vikings be drinking more rum than anything. Soon may the Willowman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tongue is done, we'll take a leave and go.
This is what I'm going to say to him. I was with the next one, but I was not accepting. Oh, and I didn't tell y'all the requirements for this. I have to at least smoke it to the um, bottom of the um, misty sign or to the line. So anywhere in between that dark, that really white line. I'm gonna go outside and uh, see how much it snowed. Doki doki. Doki doki. That's how you pronounce it in Japanese. Doki doki. Well, that's not really what it is, but okay. That's how English Japanese people pronounce it more than likely. Doki doki. Okay. Oh. oh, for a second, I forgot that you guys had the thing over your house. It stopped snowing. I think that's some sea and shit. No, oh, it's flurrying. My bad. I'm gonna set y'all right there. It's flurrying, but nothing too bad, and nobody's outside with the kids. And I'm outside with wet head, so 
I'm just getting over a cold. Not a lot, but it's supposed to snow until 8 o'clock in the morning. Hopefully it does. We're supposed to get it 5 inches. Well, I hope it gives us more. <laughs> I love the snow. It's peaceful. It makes things quieter. Snowflakes and white. Still doesn't make the vehicles quieter now. Number seven. Probably gonna end up pulling an all nighter with this video. Nope, it's starting to get harder. Snow so pretty. Earns me a lot of home. I don't know what I'm gonna do between my brother and my grandmother. I don't even know if I'll be able to go home. There's just no way. I have to get my disability started back up and move out. It's the best thing I can do. I just can't mentally take it. Have my papa get me a car and Pay for insurance and shit like that. I will make I always seem like a happy person, but inside I just, I don't know. Like I want to cry all the time, but I'm too strong of a person to do that been through too much. I've been through literal hell and back. Which is hard. Not to mention I'm an empath, so I feel other people's emotions. Especially when they're strong. Makes it hard to work when you're an empath. Because if someone doesn't like you, you feel it, obviously.
It just makes life hard. Well, while I'm up here, I'm just gonna try to do the best I can and shit like that. I've actually got to call my grandmother when I get back inside and see what's up with the disability thing. And that's not going to work out too well. Let's go back in and call her and see how that goes. <laughs> Alright, it's cold outside. It is super cold outside. Yeah. This is a bit. Mm, horror games. I love these horror games. <sighs> I gotta call my grandmother and see what's up with this disability shit. What's that mean? Oh, this is a horror game. Oh, shit. Hi, you've reached four oh seven nine. Hey, I got a question. Hmm, what? Uh, what's up with the disability thing? Like, have you heard anything or anything? No. <laughs> because, like... Oh there you go, Yuri, scaring the heck out of me. Because, like, um... I've got... I've got a... I've got to do something, you know, I can't stay with y'all, not with Dakota with the way he is. Dakota's no way, Rebecca. It's when you run, run in your mouth. Um, I'm on a live stream, so watch what you say. Well, what are you doing on a live stream? Because I'm always on a live stream, and it's called vlogging. Well, the truth is the truth. I only run my mouth when I needs to be run. No, you don't. Um, so, uh, I think you need to call them, and if, for whatever reason, they give you a date or whatever, you need to call Manny and Papal and, uh, ask them if they will get, uh, a lawyer, the lawyer they got for their disability and whatever, because I cannot go six months without my disability. Well, I don't know, Rebecca. It takes a while. You have to just but, wait. But listen, Nanny and Papa said their lawyer, they, they were supposed to get their disability when they were starting it. They, um, that it was supposed to take a year before they get theirs. And they got their good lawyer, and it only took them about a month and a half before they got it. That is a well, big difference. So if, if this lawyer can get my disability sooner than expected, then by all means, because I'm going to... Who's going to pay him? I don't know who's going to pay him. I mean, I don't, I don't have the money. But, um, Neither do I. But, um, uh, um, anyways, you gotta call Nanny and Papa in the morning and ask them about that, um, about that new place that's down near Papa's church that has the, um, that goes off of your income instead of your um, instead of your, instead of just, like, monthly payments, like, rent, it's one of those disability places or whatever, but it's a newer place, so I'm willing to get a place there, as opposed to the other place that they were talking about. 
how are you going to live by yourself? Well, I've got my DMV appointment on the 10th, you said, at 9 o'clock. So, um... And Papa's supposed to be looking for me a car, and so... Hopefully, I pass my DMV appointment, driver's test, whatever. And so, I get my driver's license. And that way, I can live there. And if I need to go get something, I can get something. But first, I've got to, got to get my disability on point. I've got to get it started. So, you need to talk to Nanny and Papal about the lawyer guy and... um explain some things and ask them about what the name of the place is down there or about where it is because I've got to have my disability. I just can't live with you guys all the time. I can't deal with the mental stress of it and you guys can't deal with the mental and go 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 ness of me so there's just no way it's gonna work. I mean I could stay up here with Morgan for the time being, but I've got to get my disability and I've got to get a place for, of my own. Well, first of all, I can't make Social Security do anything. No, you can't, but this lawyer might be able to. Well, like I said, who's going to pay him? You can ask Nanny and Papa if they would be willing to help get my disability back. No, you have to do that. Well, you'll have to do a join to call. So I'll have to call them and I'll join the call. Why do I need to be on it? Because, um, honestly, they're just like, you should have stayed where you were at. You had a better life over here. I told you so and shit like that. And I don't want to put up with it. I'm not going to put up with it. You guys are one way, and Nanny and Papa are the other way, and neither one, neither household is right. So, um, I'm going to join the call so you have an input on it. No. Why? Why? I'm not going to do a joint call. Why? I'm just not. Why? Because, Rebecca, you're trying to put us on the spot, and that's not all right. I'm not trying to put you on the spot, but I need y'all's input. I'm only 18. Just because, just because I'm 18 and I'm a legal adult does not mean I know every single fucking thing. No, but you think you do. No, I don't. You act like it. I'm going to call Nanny and Papa and ask them about the lawyer and about the place down near Papa's church. And then I'm going to join the call with you. No. Listen. You can talk to them on your own. I don't. Nene, listen. They don't say certain shit around you. Which yeah. means. Which means that's better for me because at this point, I don't need to hear their crap. Well, I'm going to go. I'm going to call you in here in a minute, okay? No. Why? Because I'm going to take a phone call mm -hmm. coming in. Okay. Bye.
has been forwarded through an automatic voice message system. Eight two eight three zero one seven five three three is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Hey, Nanny, um, give me a call back when you get this. I guess I'll call you in an hour or so. But um, I need to ask you a couple things uh, requiring the disability and um, stuff like that. So um, give me a call when you get this. If you don't get this before an hour, I'll call you back. Love you. Bye. Oh. What? Hello. Let's see, Ori in the background. Oh. You see that? Yeah. Yeah, that happens in the game with the character Sayori. Just, yeah, I'm not gonna mess with some shit up. That light pink hair girl acts like a child just by her um, stances. Well, yeah, that's kind of her thing. Oh. But I don't want to say she has a darker past to her. Well, oh. darker thing to her. That's why she kind of acts so childish. The her. middle one seems really sweet. <laughs> She's not, is she? Well, she is, but... She, like, anything she does, she doesn't really mean it to, for it to be a bad thing. She never meant for it to be a bad thing. It's just how she was programmed and stuff. Oh. So they're robots? No. She's a robot? No. What is she then? She knows this is a game. Oh. It's kind of like she broke the fourth wall and she can control everything. Oh. It's kind of what it is. What? Okay, watch. I can't choose any of these guys. It's forcing me to choose Monica. Let me see again. Okay, let me rephrase. This one, this one's not Suki. That one's Yuri. This is Monica. Okay. So look. Forcing me to go to Monica. What? She's breaking the fourth wall. That's what it is. But, you know, I'm just going to choose Monica because why not? Because I'm about to say, either way, it makes me choose Monica. All the time? No, it's just in this certain situation. Oh, that's I weird. I feel so sad because freaking there's a picture of Sayori back there. Oh God, Yuri! What? Snapping. Oh, she's snapping. Yeah, Yuri. It's because Monica is messing with Yuri's file. Oh. Making her unstable. Oh. Okay. She didn't really mean to make Yuri that more unstable, but it kind of happened. Hey. Hey, what? Um, so, Nene got a call from the, um, Social Security office saying that, um, it could take, um, they're saying with how backed up the Social Security office is, they're saying it could take six months to a year and a half for me to get my disability, even if I'm eligible right now, and... Yes, I know that. I was, and I was talking to Nene, I was like, well, Nene, I can't go without my disability. I just can't, because I can't hold a job, not to mention I'm not educated. I don't, ha I don't even have a GED, and um, she's like, well, what do you want to do? And 
it's like, well, I can't stay with y'all. It's an un, it's not good for my health, but I want to be out on my own. And she was like, well, maybe you should consider the place that your nanny and papa were talking about. And I was like, uh, that go, you know, the place like Joseph goes to that lives in and, um, didn't Papa say they were building a new one, uh, closer to Papa Jim's church? Uh, I heard Papa Alvin say that, um, at some point in time that they had built a new place that's sort of like where Joseph is now. And they, that goes off of your income instead of just like a month-to-month -month rent. But it was closer to Papa Jim's church or whatever. I don't really remember where it's at. But, but he said it was like a newer place. And uh, he also said, um, Joseph said that um, if it wasn't so high that he... The snow is messing with my phone. There it goes. <laughs> oh, God, that's fun. What? The fuck? Again, Monica messed with the Yuri's file so much that you could actually go crazy. So is she actually gonna rot? Well, not rot, rot, but like die. She's already dead. Why is it turning from like color to? Because we're we're because game wise, we are here for the whole weekend. Oh, so it's like morning, noon, night. Yeah, morning, noon, night, morning, noon, night. And we're just watching her freaking deteriorate. Kind of. So is she gone from the game now? Oh, uh, one of her eyes turned white. No, both of her eyes turned gray. Wait, stop, give me for a second. Characters. You can actually go to the characters' files and watch them. This is cute. Um, sorry about that. It's snowing where I'm at, and it's like, it's cutting in and out of the phone. Hello? Hello? The fuck? I might want to try to call her tomorrow or something. They called me just now. It's messing up because it's now, so might want to try to... Well, I'm going to try one more time and see what happens. Ugh, I feel bad because she's just sitting there dead. There we go. Uh-oh, that's awesome. Hello? Hey, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. I'm going to treat that what? Um, how much of that did you catch before my phone went wonky? Yeah, well. They do wait and list and everything, but see, they go by the income, and you see, you ain't got that no income, so I don't know how that'll work. We just have to keep you on the wait list. That's all I know, Larry. Yeah, and what I, what I was going to ask is, um, you were uh, talking about a lawyer that could, like, help the, like, reduce the weight of the, like the disability and stuff like that the disability weight and i was wondering if yeah. you could i was wondering if you could help me with that because i just can't i can't the only, time, the only way you can reduce the weight is if you 
Cause I don't know what I'm gonna do. Well, that's the only way you can get your disability fast. Yeah. That's the only way you can do it. That's how I got Betty and her. John, Betty, uh, um, Elizabeth. Um, Elizabeth's mama, John. Yeah. And that's the way that the wife got here, too. Nana's at home. I'm up at Morgan's because, um... Yeah, I know that. Yeah, I know that. Well, uh, you need to call her and tell her I'll call her as soon as I get through with my nebulizer. All right. If that's all right with her. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Love you. Love you too. Bye. Bye-bye.
going through phone call after phone call after phone call. It's really not nice. I was told to call Pamela in and let her. I swear if she's on the phone with my mother about this shit. I was about to say she said she was expecting a phone call. From my mother? Yeah, so if she was expecting a phone call, she's probably not talking about this stuff. Hey, you want to watch weird shit happen? Sure. <laughs> So, this is where you can tell Monica break, has broken the fourth wall. She said, I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. I'm super sorry. It must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a second. Watch the character files on the silver screen. Okay. I don't see it. She deleted them. I'm almost done. I just want to have a cupcake crew. Model this before I want to blow a tray and take a crazy cupcake. Since Natsuki doesn't exist anymore, it doesn't register her name. Seriously, these are the best. I really just have to have, to have one. Since so wait, Suki is the... Natsuki. Natsuki. Natsuki is the... Um... Pink. Pink, light pink haired girl. What? Yep. So she deleted her. She deleted Yuri too. So Yuri's gone as well. But so what happens? New characters end up there? No new characters. Just Monica. Watch this. The fuck? Watch. The game is excited. Uh, can you hear me? Is it working? Here we are. I can't skip. Give me a second. I'm just going to go. What is there? A fire outside? No. That's just like, like space and universe and stuff. Because oh. we were broken out of the fourth wall and stuff. Well, I got this is about your. Well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess it just drove her to kill herself. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Yes, it's been a while since you heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try and make them all unlikable as possible. But for some reason, nothing worked. See, she was messing with them. I thought making Sayori more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you. Oh, did you know Inca Middle's got a dress code now? What up? Like, they've got a specific thing, like a uniform almost, they've got to wear now, Inca Middle. That's stupid. I know.
Oh, by the way, guys, this one's number eight. Um, the, you the, ran a whole phone call while you were singing? Yeah, <laughs> I ran a whole phone call. Okay, that's probably not a good thing. I'm going to edit it out. What was that? She wanted to sing it. She said she was wanting to write poems and she was questioning it. Does that part of the game even work anymore? Right. Yeah, it did, but every word was just some kind of like uh, distorted or corrupted ver version of the name Monica, so. character file if you prefer playing without me. Because she's giving hints as to what the person's supposed to do next. Is to delete her character file. Why? Everything resets. We are going to spend our turn in the gym. I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? If it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look into in each other's eyes. Let's see. This is where I casually get out of the game and delete you. I deleted her! She don't want to resist. Then I guess you restart the game. Just keep watching. Just hurry and help me. Monica <laughs> Monica dot character does not exist. Because I deleted it. Reality's breaking because it doesn't exist. Did you do this to me? Did you did you delete me? Yes, I did. Fuck you. I'm kidding. I'm sorry, Monica. technically truly deleted if she's still talking to us. Yeah. Now she's angry at us and just leaves. 
See, look, I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. She's mad at us because we deleted her. Even though Gay, you what happened what if you didn't delete her? You killed everyone. Gay, you hope you're happy. Hey, fuck you. I didn't kill everyone. You did. What? What happens if you don't delete her? Then you're pretty much just still in that world with her. And at that point, she's probably going to run out of things to say. I don't care. So, yeah, it's just, you're stuck there, but we'll find some other people to torture. <laughs> you completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. I'm like, this is the second time I've just enough doing this. She says you never really truly deleted them. This is what I'm going to do. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you, then I now return to you. She literally just started. Yeah. We're back. I want to play through it. Which the character bio? Oh, they're bad. Except. Monica, she kept herself out of the game, but it's gonna reset anyway. Natsuki, Yuri, and Sayori. I wanna play through it. Skip, 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 skip. Ah, skip. This is the ending. Oh. There's nothing to play through here. Oh. It just resets. You can skip and do this stuff. See, now I can't skip anymore. Watch this. There's actually something else. I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monica. Monica doesn't exist in this. So how does she know there's a person named Monica? And I just think that she did. Maybe she's become president now. But I really know everything. I know how hard you try to make everyone happy. I know about the awesome what Monica did. Good stuff now. Go back down. Well, 
If you don't mind. But the thing is, you're gonna wanna actually start playing this. You're gonna have to, as best as like, start tomorrow. Because this is a long, long, long game. Alright. I'll start tomorrow. Remind me. It's a very long game. Oof. Yeah. Yes, Rebecca. Um, give me a second. I gotta find my lighter. Do what? Give me a second. Where does that my water? Do I know. I'm always losing my water. Okay, so, um, mm -hmm. oh, I'm talking to Nana. I found my water, though. Nice. So, I have a question. You there? Yes. So, um, remember how we were talking about redoing the upstairs and stuff like that? Just yes. don't get mad at me, but what about if um, when it gets built, like we start cleaning on it this spring, and um, what I was thinking of is um, when it gets built and stuff like that, I could just move. Uh, I could wait to get my furniture and stuff until the upstairs is built. You know what I mean? For, like, my bedroom and stuff. You hear me? Uh-huh. And, um, I could just wait, and we could, uh, build the upstairs probably, well, if we're gonna clean it this spring and this summer... We're going to have to work on it every day from, well, every day that you don't work from literally morning to about dark. Of course, li listen, of course, with breaks for bathroom and food. We can't build it. Well, we can't. We, me and you can't. But we could clean it out this year, this spring and the summer, get everything either in a storage unit or somewhere where we could store it, and the stuff that's trash is trash, and stuff that's going to Goodwill goes to Goodwill, but um, have it start, start getting it that way. This summer, we can, or this spring and the summer, we can try to save up money um, up until um, about my birthday of next year. Probably closer to tax time, so about March of next year. And um, so we have all of this year to get it clean and stuff like that. And then about March of next year, we um, hire some people to do the electricity, the water lines, and the heating and stuff like that, and to build it. But we've got to save this year. And here's what I'm suggesting. They said it would take three to six months for my disability to come in, right? 
Okay. Well, it should happen. I don't know, Rebecca. How do you not know? Because it's not happening. How do you not know? How was I accepted to begin with? You were a child at that point. So not every child gets disability. No. You had a disability. How'd you get yours? Mine was on my nerves. Uh, obviously, and I've got bipolar and anxiety and a bunch of other things. You can't compare, Rebecca. I know I can't compare, but I did some research for what can make you, like, already approved, like, directly approved for disability in the state of North Carolina. And guess what the th three top things was? I have no idea. Autism, bipolar, and severe anxiety. I take medicine for bipolar. I take medicine for my anxiety. And I've been diagnosed with autism. And we can't find the paperwork on your autism. How can you not find the paperwork on my autism? Because the office says they can't find you. How? I don't know. I have no idea. But here's what I'm suggesting. Um, once it's built and stuff like that, that becomes my living area. So, obviously you would have a, um, a living room, a living room area and a living and dining area would probably be connected, a bathroom and a bedroom. And I'll probably be looking for some, like, furniture and decorations to go in there anyways. But, um, what I want to say is that becomes my living area. And the only way it could legally be binding become mine is if you decide to either, and there's two ways to do it, A, rent it out to me, and I don't have any money, so that's not a possibility, or B, you could um, put in the house lease or whatever you have on the house and say that the upstairs is mine. I can't give you half of my house. I'm, you're not giving me half of your house. Or, or there is another possibility. You could write up a contract, sort of like a lease, saying that I can live there, but the only difference is I won't be able to pay any money. Because I currently cannot get a job worth shit. And secondly, um... Yeah, but I have some terms and stipulations. <laughs> and, um, I wouldn't be able to live there. Rent, I wouldn't be able to live there if I had to pay rent because it's not possible. 
but you can write up a contract saying that I have legal rights to live upstairs and stuff like that. And, uh, you'll have to put in something about, um, n no money required or something like that. Because you have to make it legally binding. And, um, other than that, there's really, it, I want it to be sort of like my living area. And, um... Stuff like that. So, basically, the two main things that you need to put in that contract is, and it can't be just a written one. You can write it out, but you have to have it printed out for it to be legally binding. You also have to have your name in signature and in print to make it legally binding. And you'll have to have my name in signature and in print to make it legally binding. I've heard all this, huh? Imprint. Uh, signature and print. Hmm. Because if it if you just have a signature on there, it's not legally binding. You have to have both. I heard that from my papa Alvin when he went to go kick a renter out, and had to go to court for it. And the court said you can't legally kick them out because you don't have your signature in. You don't have your name stated in print and signature. But the two things on that contract that have to go on there is that the upstairs living quarters is mine to live in. And that I will have a key to like lock and unlock it. Um, so we'll probably have to get a locksmith up there at some point in time to fix the locks. Because that, that door, if you shut it while it's, um, like, say it's, um, if you're not careful and you jiggle the knob while it's locked, you can unlock it. And I don't want that. It's like an apartment. And the third thing, well, the second thing on there is that I don't have to pay money Unless it's to, well, by that time, I should have a driver's license and a car. So, I don't have to pay money unless it's to, uh, unless I have the money and uh, the money will go towards electricity and water. The money, and you'll have to put down how much, when I have the money, how much down, how much it's going to be for electricity and water, and you'll have to put them separately. You can't combine them. But my stipulations are more so going towards the design and the type of house, um, like how I want it to look, like normal walls and stuff, but I do not want popcorn ceilings. No popcorn ceilings, no texture ceilings. They just, they don't suit my taste. Flat ceilings is best. And not to mention, it costs less to do flat ceilings. No. Why? I'm not putting black in this house. You're, I didn't say black. I said flat. Flat. Flat ceilings. And, um, just to let you know, um, Nene, uh, since I'm going to be moving upstairs eventually, closer to the time about when it's going to 
like when they're building it and stuff closer to the time when it's going to get finished I'm actually going to go with you to get white paint to uh, repaint my walls on the downstairs bedroom so you can turn it into a nice, comfy, cozy guest bedroom. Or a storage room if you want. If it's a storage room, it doesn't really matter whether you have black or white walls. But I assume you want to make it a guest bedroom, so... We, we could go get the paint primer because you're going to need paint. You're going to need to prime it before you paint it. But that is going towards closer to the time it's finished. Now we've got all year this year to clean it out. And what days do you work this week? I don't know. Do you have your schedule? No. When will you get your schedule? Probably tomorrow. Do you work tomorrow? Yes. Tomorrow's what? Sunday? Yes. Do you work? Ah, uh, she doesn't know. Okay, um. Well, tomorrow after you get off work. Text me what days you are free, and I will text you what days I can, out of the days you're free, what days um, I'm willing to come up from Morgan's to help you uh, clean the upstairs. I'm not going to worry about the upstairs until winter is past. Well, if you want to get it cleaned, you need to start now because there's a whole lot of shit up there. It's snowing now, Rebecca. I know, and I'm probably not going to come up there this next week. But I'm just saying, text me with your schedule next week, and I'll text you or call you 